Hi, and welcome to Stampin' All Day with Bev. Thank you for stopping in. I have to warn you that this is on the fly. A few reasons. My oldest daughter's birthday was yesterday, so I had people here till 9.30 at night, something like that. My grandson's birthday is tomorrow, so we're preparing for that. They're coming all back again tomorrow, which I love. Don't get me wrong, I love it. And then um, my paper pumpkin arrived the other day, but I haven't been able to open it. I haven't been able to look at any samples with it. I haven't been able to do anything with it. And so I thought this is a perfect opportunity to see how this works on the fly with me. I never ever um, look at the instructions. Um, I may look at them after I'm done making the projects I've come up with, alternative projects that I've come up with just to see what they did with it, but I've never copied them before is what I'm trying to say. I don't know if you've um, ever heard of Paper Pumpkin, but it's a great little kit that comes in the mail once a month and you could subscribe to just go to www.paperpumpkin.com choose me Beverly Morales as your demonstrator I think that's towards the end of the process and um, then it will come once a month to you and I um, like to show on my blog which is also stampinalldaywithbev.com uh, alternative pro uh, projects that I make with it how I've played with with it what I do with it and so I thought today I would just open it with you and then maybe make something depending on what I see and what happens. Now my mom lives with me. Um, she's 91 years old and I enjoy every minute of it. We've been, we've been having a great time. Um, she's getting better so things are looking up. My, my grandson came home um, from school the last day of school. He, I think it was out about six weeks ago, maybe seven. Announced to us, he's, uh, he's 17, announced to us that he, it was his last day of school and that he wanted to go swimming and he never left. So I've had him here, which he's a joy, but he calls me. So if my phone rings, I have to answer it because no telling. He's 17, you get my drift. So anyway, that might interrupt us, but hopefully it won't. It won't, but hopefully, I mean, if it does, fair warning, right? Okay, so let's go down to my desk and see what I've got here with this month's paper pumpkin. It's just as big a surprise to me as it's as it will be to you, unless you already are one of my subscribers and you've got yours um, and you've already opened it. So um, I'm looking for where they've taped it shut. So I can open this and see here's, what's this say, catalog coordination gives you more. Oh, so this one's coordinating with other products in the catalog. So cool. And I just got this set right now. I haven't opened that box yet either because my family life has been getting in the way, but um, that's okay. So what else? Let's see. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Okay, so here's the stamp set. So in your paper pumpkin, you'll always get a stamp set. And what I love so much about their stamp sets, um, it's it's always images that, you know, I can I can use that I don't already have. Oh, this this is a, a seashell. Hello, friend. I love that. You've been on my mind. Oh my gosh, see what I'm saying? I love that. You're the best. And then a little like doily, fancy little eyelet. These are really pretty. Happy with the stamp set. So you will get a stamp set and you can build your collection this way by getting one stamp set a month. Then let's see what's in the tissue here. You're also going to get a stamp spot, which is a mini stamp pad. And this color is Pretty Peacock, which is one of the new ink colors. That's awesome. I don't open mine, I save them so when I get a new customer, um, they get a little overwhelmed sometimes with, oh, I want this color, I want that color, and I let them go to my save stamp spots that I, that I have and um, pick up five colors so they can get started right away. So if you want to be a new customer of mine, um, let me know and we'll get you some colors too. All right, so let's see what we got here. I love how they don't um, tape the tissue anymore. Science sounds minor, but you know, we all need tissue here and there for different bags and 
gifts and different reasons. And now that it's nice all the time, we can use that tissue over again. You're going to need a paper, uh, your paper snips to open up your package. Oh, I like, I like what I see already. I, I'm very, I like the neutrals. Um, when I say that, I mean the colors in the catalog that are neutral, like oh, Sahara Sand and Crumb Cake and Early Espresso and all those dark colors. I love those because they um, coordinate with so many things. I even save the cardboard, which this cardboard here, because when you're making some 3D projects, you never know when you need a piece of nice cardboard. So there it is. And this is the little, I think this is the instruction pamphlet, but I'm not going to look at that like I said. So the only thing I'm throwing away so far is the wrapping. Okay. My card stuck back. I mean my cardboard back here. So we have some mini glue dots. So you get your adhesive. We have, oh, some pretty... Um, sequence. I'll lay these out so I can have them at my fingertips. Ooh. Oh, wow. Some great big dimensionals and some rings. Interesting. Mini dimensionals. If you don't already have that, see what a value it is already because those are some things you might not have in your collection. Two little cute paper clips and this thread is something I use continually so that's always nice I take that out and put it in my stash in my drawer because it just when you have paper pumpkin and these types of accessories come you just put them with your others and so you run out a lot you know not so fast and then you have them for for a longer period of time pretty designer series paper Looks like it might be old olive. I'm not sure. But on this here, it should say, I'm not cheating, but it should say the colors. Balmy blue, mint macaron, mossy meadow, night of navy, old olive. So I was right. Pear pizzazz, pretty peacock, Sahara sand, which is what I was mentioning here that I love. And seaside spray. And terracotta tile. Oh, my. Oh. So the card bases... The ones on top, anyway, how many? Two of them have a really nice print on the front. At first, I thought it was script, but it's a print. Kind of like I was making with my stamps the other day. Okay, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting, going like squirrel here. So I showed you this, and I showed you this. Put these over here. Show you this next. Oh, now if you don't already have the stamp set in the catalog that has the sailboats, Look, there you have some images and you can play with them and see how you like them and look how it, oh, that pen, it, look, finish my sentence, Bev. Look how it coordinates with the paper we already saw. And then I oohed and odd because I'm a pinstripe lover. I have um, two chairs in my den. They're black, though, with this type of ticking or whatever you call it, pinstripe. Um, just love that gorgeous. Then, um, so you don't have to use your die cut machine if you don't want to, if you're in a hurry. Look at these pretty sprigs. And what I usually do is I punch them all out so they're ready, readily available for me in my box when I want to use them. And here's some bigger ones. I can see these at Christmas time too. I can see these whole cards at Christmas time. Oh, <gasps> favorite. See this? It's bumpy. Oh my goodness. Ooh, Christmas is coming to my head with all of these patterns. Okay. Oh, how pretty. Look at these. So again, it coordinates with the stamp set in the catalog, and you don't even have to cut these out. They're already punched out for you. And then these little gold dresses it up, gold line tags. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay, so I put these aside. So here's all your envelopes. Look, printed on the inside. So you have automatic stationery. It's three of those. And this is the way to go. Oh, look at that matches this first Sahara sand card base, but in pretty peacock. So I would imagine there's three of those. Yep. 
And then what's this one? I <laughs> love. And this looks like it's the mint macaron. Or I think that's what color they said. Very pretty. And then this, this reminds me of like an Indian print almost. And then little flag banners. So, okay, that's what we have here. Since I just had a total fit when I saw this one, everybody that knows me that's watching this, my customers, um, they know, they know which one I would choose, right? Because it's totally me. Already scored. I am going to look for my bone folder, though, and turn it over so I don't ruin the bumpies on the other side and score that really well. Okay, what I don't see here is something to line my card with, so I'll do that later, but I would cut out a white piece and put it in there so I could write on that. And let's see, I see sailboats. I see this print. Um, where did those sprigs go? Here they are. I see these cute little sprigs here. I only saw this one sheet of them. I maybe missed another sheet, but I don't know. This might be all of them. Not not sure. You've seen what I've seen. Look at that. Already pretty. So this is just trash unless you like to save, save, save. Um, These just punch out too. They're already they're already cut and everything perforated, and you just um, punch them out. Don't know that I'm going to use them. This is just how I play. Let's see what I come up with here. Okay, so the mini glue dots, I think I want those. Take one, and I'm going to set these three with the sprigs hitting it. And then pull off the backing. Um, you know what's missing right here? I'm going to stick it right on my table. Is my um, It's upstairs. I should have more than one, though. My um, Oh, don't want to lose these little guys. Put that with the stamp pad. My um, silicone mat. So I'm going to pull some of this, and I'm going to pull quite a bit because I like to double mine. What am I making? Who knows? I have no idea. We'll see when it comes out, right? And the reason I do this, if you've watched me before, you know that I don't, I, I sometimes I don't you do this, but 99% of the time I do because I want a substantial bow. Um, this is very thin, and you can use it that way, or you can thicken it by doing what I've just done. And then you want to just come down and cut your loops. Trim this however you like, the length you've liked it. Another mini glue dot. Put it right in the back of the knot here. Hope I didn't go out of camera. And then I'm going to stick that on there. Cute. Very cute already. Okay, do I like that? Like that? Let me see. Stamps. What do we have here? Hello, friend. Oh, you've been on my mind. <laughs> I love that. While this is Christmassy to me, or could be, I want to use Hello, friend. You've been on my mind. Now, when you first subscribe, you will get a block with your um, first kit. 
but after that, um, blocks do not come in the in every box. So you get one, and and that's that. So I'm going to not take the ink that came with because I'm not doing the peacock thing right here. I totally went Christmas. So what color did I just choose? Early Espresso. I'm going to stamp off on my scrap to make sure that it's straight. A little bit, a little crooked. Hello, friend. What else is in the stamp set? Oh, a seashell and oh, oh I love that script. Ooh, and I love this little doily guy. Hmm. Let's see. I think I'm going to go the same color just because all I have on here is green or uh, yeah let's do that. I was thinking about putting a little flower there but I can't think of something real quick and easy that's right here by my, my little oh my little punches maybe that'll work. So I'm only going to do half And that's just, ooh, that's just going to balance this tag out. Look how easy that is, you guys. And then let me, let me see how this works here. Now these punches that I'm going to use right now, sorry, but they, um, I tried to get everybody to order them. Most of you did, but they have um, retired. But they stay on my desk for simply this. So here's proof positive that when I was telling you to get them, hopefully you did because this, these little flowers that they make are just precious. So I sometimes add, like I am right now, things that don't come in the kit, but you don't have to. You can just go over to this instruction booklet and it has a ton of ideas for you. So this is our, this is my um, scoring tool. And I'm just pushing into my mat here, my soft mat. And then I am going to go to these just because they're going to be easier for me to get off and you guys are watching. Um, don't want to keep you all day. I'm going to pile these on top of each other. I might not use this. Who knows? That's what I do. I build and I fluff. Oh yeah. See that makes it more summery now instead of Christmas. You see with one thing, but like if I put um, a red bow and um, a, a bell or you know something like that, then I would go back to the Christmas theme. Now I don't know what you're seeing right now. It might not be pretty because it's part of my body, but I am going to, I'll just grab a pearl because it's right here. I was looking for a clear gem, but uh, pearls came up first. So that's what I'm grabbing. And I'll put it, oh, well, you know what? That looks good because it matches the white card. And I'm sure in other kits, if you have paper pumpkin, you um, have pearls that came in the kits. So let's get all this out of the way. What an adorable card. And I have not even used all the things that came with the kit. Now, I'm not going to use these great big huge dimensionals because they're, you know, there's going to be some awesome uses for that. So I'm just going to go to my regular pack. and save those big ones for when needed and just add this back here for a little bit of elevation cute okay pull the paper off And the boxes themselves that Paper Pumpkin comes in, you can you can open them up flat and turn them inside out and use them as boxes for gifts. 
Now I'm lining the top of this up with my dots here. It's just that helps you get it straight, just a little trick. And then um, push this down on the mini glue dot and stick it right there. Line the inside with a white card. What do you think? Oh my gosh, and all I used, let me see, what did I use that came in the kit? The card base, the sprigs, the tag, the stamps, the, the linen thread, and then I added this little flower and a pearl. So what do you think of Paper Pumpkin? It's pretty cool, huh? So um, now on the inside, when I line it, I'm going to stamp, um, I've been, what does it say? I've been, you've been on my mind. You've been on my mind. Love that because so many people are on my mind. I know who I'm sending this to. Okay, thought that was my mom. And Bryce hasn't called, so I better go while I'm hitting batting a thousand. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoy Paper Pumpkin. Come to my blog, Stampin' All Day with Bev.com. Facebook Live, Sunday nights at 7, same address on Facebook. And um, subscribe, paperpumpkin.com. Choose me as your demonstrator, Beverly Morales. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.